This is a very simple GUI in Java. All we have is a series of J labels that we want added to a J panel. And we want to ask uh, MIG layout um, as to be the layout manager for the whole thing. So it effectively is in charge of putting the components on the GUI and arranging them for us or as we as, as we ask it to arrange them. So MIG layout here in its simplest form is I've given it no information, no um, information in the constructor just to be there and use its default settings. In the first instance here, I'm looking at the J panel here and I'm saying panel.add label one. And label one is just simply um, a couple of characters called label one. And MIG will add that in and choose cell or make a cell, I should say, that's big enough to handle label one. So we'll see label number one appearing inside in this first cell here. And like I said, it's as wide as it needs to be to accommodate this text to label one, label number one. In the second instance, we say to MIG, um, introduce a new uh, or another label called label two and place it on the GUI. And MIG will agree to do that and place the second one um, in the second slot here. So we have now two elements laid out by MIG in, uh, on the GUI and it's deciding itself where to put them. These elements are as wide as they need to be. Um, these cells, I should say, are as wide as they need to be to accommodate the text that's in them. Now these are these were supposed to look the same size. This is label 1 and label 2. Both of them are in there. Each of them has a cell. Although we haven't speci uh, specified it, what we're kind of ending up with here is we're ending up a situation where we almost are beginning to uh, identify a very bad column there. Um, so I'll try and draw it a bit straighter. We're identifying a column here between 1 and 2, cell number 1, cell number 2, and so on. So if we look at number 3 then, it's going to be placed inside in the, um, the GUI as well. And when it gets placed, um, I'll just draw a 3. When it gets placed, the layout manager has now effectively created three columns. Um, so a cell in the first column, a cell in the second column, a cell in the third column. And really speaking, we only have one row so far. After we put in label 3, um, MIG is told to wrap, which is basically a carriage return. So MIG here now has to do a carriage return at this point and bring the uh, its drawing operation or its uh, cell creation operation down here to this level. So what we have left now is we have label 4 has to be entered. So label 4 is going to be entered and it's going to appear in the next row as the first in the first column. So it's number 4 in, in, uh, in our GUI. So label 4 and then label 5. Label 5 is, we've tell MIG to introduce label 5 as a new cell in here and the minute we introduce it, it says to do a carriage return as well. So it also, by the action of the carriage return, creates a new row and that new row is going to have label 6. Now label 6 is an interesting label because label 6 has first action is it requests to span and it doesn't say how far or how many cells it spans so a span means to stretch yourself out and in this instance to stretch yourself out over, over what well we only can stretch ourselves out or our label 6 can only stretch itself out to live in a space that's the, as far or as many cells as it can in the x direction so it wants to span itself out so it's going to cover this column, that column, and the third column. So it's going to basically appear somewhere, excuse me, somewhere in this region. It has spanned itself over three columns. It says whatever has to be in that uh, cell six or label six, it has to appear in the center of this big spell that it now this big cell that it now has and after it's been inserted we have to do a wrap so cell 6 or label 6 basically ends up in the middle somewhere because it's in it's told to center here and straight after that there's another carriage return and the carriage return will take the mig down to the next row again and label 7 is to be introduced now label 7 we haven't told it anything so it's going to appear in the first cell in the first col in the first column here so it's going to appear into this space here so this is a number 7 
Then we have a number 8, and again there's nothing special about that, so that appears here. So that's 8. And then finally we have 9, and after 9 we line wrap again. So we bring in another line wrap, and we move to the next line. Now, at this stage there's no more elements to put in, so our GUI should look something like this when I run it. I see 3 cells across the top, 4 and 5, then there's a carriage return, or a wrap. Then we have 6, and it's the most interesting of them. It's spanning over three cells worth of space, and it's centering itself, the label, in those cells, and then after it's inserted, it wraps. And then we go seven, eight, and we also go for nine here. So there, there are the elements. So I'm expecting this GUI to pop up when I run MIG here. And this is what I get. I get label one, two, three, one, two, three. I get label 4 and 5, label 4 and 5, then I get 6 and it's in the middle, um, and we'll see something about that in a second, label 7, label 8 and label 9. Now I can tell MIG to turn on the debug feature, so it gives me um, more information about the uh, cells and where they are, debug, P-U-G, um, run this again, and now MIG has identified cells, so we see cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, we see cell 4 here inside in its little kind of red blue box or dashed box. Label 5, like I have, and label 6 here is now more obvious. Label 6 occupies a cell that spans or spreads itself over three columns. And the label itself, the actual text of it, appears in the centerpiece because it was told to a centerpiece. And then we do a carriage return, and then you can see 7, 8, and 9. 7 occupies one cell in the first column. 8 occupies one cell in the first column, and 9 occupies itself in one cell in the first column. So, even though we didn't specify it, we have now ended up with three columns, and one, two, three, four rows. And that's how make operates.